Hey, what's up, guys? JB here, and today I'm joined with my main man, Mark. And uh, today <laughs> we are building my brand new log cabin workshop. So, as you can see, so far we've got the base in. Um, I've got this plastic base which I've filled with some pea shingle. Um, got the pressure treated bearers down, and then we've got the first layer of the log cabin walls on top of that. They're all screwed in, it's all squared up, so uh, we're ready to start putting the walls together. Well, it's day two now, and as you can see, we've got really far. Um, we did run out of time yesterday, so what we've done, we've used the tire pulling or the damp proofing that they supply for the roof, and we just threw it over the roof just to protect it. We put a couple of bearers along the top. Um, just to give it a little bit of support for the sheet there um, but it is a little bit wet so that has protected it and the timber that was left and we put inside um, so really what I want to try and do today is get the floor done get the doors on and get some handles and stuff on because um, it's not going to be dry but any dry weather we do have then uh, I might start getting a bit of the roof on so here's the inside and it looks really spacious, really good. We just obviously got the uh, timber in here at the moment that we're just storing. Um, but today, even if it's raining, we're definitely getting the floor in. That'll look really good. So uh, yeah, nearly there. We're going to crack on and um, check it out. So I have started to put the floorboards down, as you can see here. But because it's raining outside, I'm having to keep all the timber in here, um, which is a little bit annoying, but I can get around it. it, just means I need to shift the timber around every now and then. Um, so I've started, as I said, with the floorboards, and I've left the gap on this side here. They recommend a five mil gap, um, so I've done that, and an equal gap either side here, and also a two millimeter gap between each tongue and groove. Um, so I'm slowly mo making my way down there. Now what you may notice is these, um, the plastic base, the sub base that I bought, because I didn't really want the timbers directly on the floor. Now these are pressure treated, so in theory, they really are going to last. But at the end of the day, if it is pouring with rain and there is a little bit of water, on the deck, underneath perhaps, they are going to soak up and it will reduce the life of them. So by having them raised, 
then obviously I'm, I'm you know, increasing the life. Now I didn't need to completely cover the base with these, um, with the plastic sub-base, um, as long as the outside was. So the outside, the perimeter, is, com is one complete unit, and then I've got 12 that go in the middle, and these support the um, floor bearers. Uh, there's no more than 400 mil. I think it's about 370 is what I measured uh, for each gap. So there's there's no more uh, unsupported gap than what you've got here. And this is 400 mil, and this is about 370. So actually. You know, it is going to be completely supported. And what I've also done is I've put some screws in through here so these don't actually move out of the way. Because I did think, well, what if they did start moving over time? They may shift and then you're going to get bounce in the floor. Well, that's how I've solved that one just by putting long screws in and that's not going to go anywhere. So uh, that's where I'm at and uh, I'm going to crack on with the floor. Sun's out, really bright, so I'm cracking on with some of the roof panels. I've left the inside because I can do that when it's raining. Uh, it does take quite a while. You've got lots of nails to put in. So uh, yeah, just doing the, doing the roof right now and uh, probably won't get all of it done today because there's a, there's a lot, but uh, I'm gonna crack on.
So there we go guys, all done, all the fascias on, looking really smart. Got the drip bars above the doors and the windows. Got a couple of bits and pieces still to do, but very minor. Um, all the doors hung really nicely and here's the inside. So started getting my benches in and some tools. I've got some racking up there for some timber. I've uh, got more benches, more tools, table saws, mitre saws, more benches. And uh, yeah, loving it. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.